Hello again, YouTube land. Um, I know I just posted yesterday, and for my appearance, it doesn't look like any time has lapsed, except I'm not wearing a headband. Um, that's because in weather this hot, you tend to buy several of the same thing and wear them because they're the only thing that keep you from dying of sweating like it's going out of fashion. <clears throat> so I'm wearing several different tank tops over the next few days trying to keep relatively cool and apparently I'm receiving a text message from my dad who is <clears throat> in Waterville with my sister and his grandson, our nephew, which is the next thing I was going to mention because today is Connor's first birthday and I'm hoping I get to see him in the near future. I'm I just saw him in May when I went out. My sister had her operation and oh, little cutie boots. Dad sent me a picture of him. He's adorable. I love our nephew. Um, so Dad's visiting with them. Um, what else? Oh, a a addendum to culinary adventures from yesterday's posting. I was waiting on that delivery from UPS all day. Now, by 8 p.m., they're already late, okay? Because if you look at the website, it says delivery by the end of the day means 7 p.m. And their customer service chat online is available until 8 p.m. So, of course, it was 8.05 when I realized what, you know, amount of time had slipped past. So I go and I check the tracking this morning, and lo and behold, it says exception. One business day left. Package was missed at UPS facility and will be delivered on the next business day. That is listed immediately after Friday, July 6th, out for delivery. The number of times UPS has screwed me or screwed with me, are, it was intolerable the first time. It was unacceptable, intolerable, rude the second time. Now, I am going to do my damnedest to not order from anywhere that sends via UPS. That's really what I'm going to do. And the real joke of it is that I had no idea when the actual mason jars were going to get here. Well, so this morning, I had to go out for like 20, 30 minutes to get a couple of things before the heat got really insufferable because it's supposed to get up to 101 with a feels like somewhere around 107, give or take. I'm not leaving the house. I can't leave the house. I mean, that's, it's, it's tantamount to self-abuse in my case. However, it is mid-afternoon, almost 3 o'clock, and Sam is off at the beach with several friends because Sam loves the beach. He loves to swim. He's a bear. Most bears I'm familiar with as a genus like water. Sam's no exception. I, being a cat, don't necessarily like water except in a functional way. So I don't really go to the beach ever. I don't really go to pools to swim. But I like it when it rains. And I take a shower every day. So it's a, a weird dichotomy kind of thing. But Sam's off playing at the beach with a couple of his friends. And of course, I sent him with a relatively large bag of food. I told him on the Facebook event page, I was like, I think we all know in this heat I'm not going anywhere, but just tell me what you want to eat and I'll send it with Sam. I can't help myself. It's I've gotten to a point where I really cannot help feeding people. I got off topic somewhere. Oh, this morning I went out for a few minutes and in like the 20 minutes I was gone, the postal service delivered the mason jars. Sorry, that's I. Between the heat and not having eaten very much and how busy I've been trying to keep myself busy, my mind is a scatter, which says a lot for someone with ADHD. So, I made mayonnaise this morning with Sam's help. I used that to make a batch of tuna salad from canned tuna, I admit. 
Um, but, you know, I added onion, salt, pepper, scallion. Came out pretty good. I gotta tell you, the more I use homemade mayonnaise, the more I feel like an absolute fool for ever buying it. It's a little tough on the arm if you do it with a whisk, I admit that. But it only takes five or six minutes if you have someone helping you because you have to continually drizzle in the safflower oil to make the emulsion. And if you don't have the kind of setup where a bowl is going to stay like clamped into place like on a workbench kind of a thing, then you need an extra set of hands. It's just not possible otherwise. Unless you have a really good high-end food processor you could do it with, which I don't. Um, I have a little essentials food processor. So Sam helped me make the mayonnaise. I used that to make tuna salad, and then I made a tuna salad and spinach wrap. And then I made a buffalo chicken breast, provolone, onion, pickle, and spinach wrap with Thousand Island dressing. I stopped at the market while I was out and bought a big wedge of watermelon. Cut that into slices. Cut those slices in half so they're manageable slices. Packed them off with those. I got him a box of apple cinnamon granola bars the other day, so we took several of those. Gave him a few leftover sugar cookies I made this past week. A couple of the chocolate muffins I made yesterday. Um, a ginormous Poland spring bottle filled with tap water because for some reason he doesn't like actual Poland spring water, which as someone who grew up in Maine, I really don't understand. I mean, it tastes so much better to me, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I gave him that, primarily frozen. There was a little bit of liquid moving around, but it, it had been in the freezer about three hours at that point because I wanted him to have cold water that would stay cold. Um, you know, one of the liter Gimundo bottles. Um, sent him off with his swim stuff. I made sure he already had suntan lotion on before he left the house. Um, but I also sent him with suntan lotion in case anyone else needed it. and An umbrella because now they're forecasting thunderstorms and hail potentially in the tri-state area. And it's like, dude, nature, A, you scary, and B, fucking make up your mind. So now I'm sitting here watching American Chopper on Netflix, which I've developed a very strange affinity for. I think it's because the dynamic between the two sons and the father kind of reminds me of me, my sister, and our dad. He tries to be big and blustery and scary, but he's really not. He just sounds it and acts it sometimes. And I'm more the alpha sibling, and my sister's the goof sibling. But we each have our role to play, the three of us. So I think that's why it appeals to me. But in any event, <laughs> it's a show about family and a lot of screaming. It feels familiar. So I'm gonna go watch more of that. I'm up to season four. I don't know if it ran more than the eight seasons Netflix tells me it has, but that's what they have, so that's what I'm gonna watch. Um, and try and keep cool and relaxed. I don't know what, if anything, I'm going to make today, because last night I made jasmine rice in the rice cooker with fresh basil mixed in from my planter, and my planters are doing a lot better. They look a lot healthier now that I've upgraded them to the miracle Grow soil. I just, over the past week, gave them some uh, miracle Grow plant food, which they were due for. Gangbusters. Coming out gangbusters. Could not be more happy. Um, so I used the basil for my planter with the jasmine rice. Then I made tilapia, and I baked it in the oven with a spread of basil, garlic, olive oil, and lemon juice, and then plated two fillets, because I don't know if you know what tilapia is like, but it's, it can look like a big fillet, but it's like, it's practically nothing. Oh, there's my husband. <laughs> um, so... I think it came out really good. Sam said it basically tasted like pesto minus a couple ingredients, and I guess technically he's not that far from right. Um, huh, yeah, as I was saying, he's on his way to the beach with friends. I guess they have to drive a little bit, considering what beach they're going to. And it sounds like rain before long. Hopefully we'll get at least a good hour in at the beach or so. So who knows what they'll do after that. I may very well get a phone call saying, hey, can we come to the house? 
In which case, you know, yeah, if you don't mind that this place looks as if a bit of a disaster area hit, <laughs> fine with me. Um, so I may end up making food for people tonight. I have no idea. But that's it for me for now while Sam's out doing stuff. Um, I'm going to go relax and try and have lunch even though it's 3 o'clock because all I've had today is half a bagel. Um, and I'll talk to you all later. I hope you're having a not-so-torturously-hot weekend wherever you are, or you're at least staying cool. <laughs>